welcome friends my name is Zubair Altaf Qureshi and welcome back to my channel and um, these uh, this uh, these sessions are regarding the F5 LTM and until now you guys have learned how to create the nodes pool pool member and the virtual server IP and you have also seen the default load ba balancing method that is the round robin right so let's discuss further more and I'll show you uh, some of the other uh, methods so basically one more method that is associated with the uh, static uh, uh, load balancing method so so now we have the static method let's uh, static load balancing that is what we will be discussing in this session right so uh, the one you saw was the round robin right round robin is when anything like any traffic comes for the virtual server right it distributes equally all the traffic to the uh, pool members right we have three pool members so one goes to this one goes to this one goes to this then again two three four like that five six seven eight nine ten 11 12 and 13 like right? like this uh, so it doesn't take into consideration uh, uh, certain things like the uh, i mean the load on this uh, machine or or say the number of connections right number of connections on this uh, machine right on this server uh, uh, number of connections right and and also doesn't um, mm, take into consideration these dynamic values right dynamic values and this can affect the performance a lot right it does not take into consideration the dynamic values uh, that is how the round robin is okay simple as that and but the second thing that i want to show you is the what is called the ratio base right so we have that is again static it will not uh, i mean take into consideration all those aspects of least connection or number of connections or more like that so the second Thing that I want to show you today is the um, uh, ratio based okay ratio based load balancing based load balancing okay so in this what happens is so th this you can do it uh, I mean in two uh, um, you have two options to do this one is on the node level okay and the other one is on the pool level we will do both and I will uh, do certain uh, examples on that so so the, as of now we have three pool members one two three right these are my nodes also so these are my nodes also and then these are inside a pool also right so inside a pool also these are my pool members right one two three so what I will do is I will do on the node level so what happens is if I keep the ratio as one three and one right that means Server 2 is going to get 3 packets and server 1 and 3 are going to get uh, 1 1 packets. So what I'll do is I'll on the no, node level I will uh, assign the ratio of um, 3 to server 2 and uh, on the pool level I'll assign server 3 a value of 3 uh, and all uh, other servers will be on I mean pool members will be on uh, a, a ratio value of 1. So that means when I um, or select the option of um, load balancing um, based on the um, say the node level right uh, ratio of nodes ratio of nodes uh, that means I should see in my in my statistics that I am the server one is getting one packet and actually server two should get twice the traffic that server one and server three gets and but when I change the ratio based on the pool uh, or the pool members you can see right so it should change to three times traffic to the server three instead of server two right so that is what the ratio based um, load balancing is this is also static in nature and it doesn't take into consideration the um, like dynamic aspects like the um, I mean the number of connections least or like more connections are getting uh, assigned to that uh, node uh, which will make the node like uh, perform slower right and also uh, it doesn't take into consideration um, the um, uh, the uh, the resource type right so let's go and uh, configure this on the 
f5 that we have right in the lab so let's go to this big ip f5 i will go to the ip address here that is 110 admin and password is admin 123 we will continue from the last uh, configuration wherein we have set up the tools and here yeah. mm, and we have the virtual server that is this one and if i go to my pools and check the statistics on the pools i will reset this to the value of zero so that i can see that um, mm, load balancing happening right so i can go to my let's do it based on the nodes first so uh, let me check what we did so according to my mm, lecture right oh i decided to keep this on a uh, ratio of three and done right that is where you ch change the mm, ratio to three update and done okay now what you do is you go to the pool you have to select this option uh, i mean on the node level so go to the uh, i mean the properties of the http pool and the members here you can change right the Mm, what do you say uh, the load balancing method right there that is the option so here i have to specify road mm, uh, ratio node right and you can see you have ratio member also so uh, as of now we are going to do the ratio node so i'll select this and then i'll update this okay and let's wait for this configuration to be saved and into the ldm okay um okay nice now that it is there let's go if you want to con uh, i mean uh what do you say confirm uh that should be which one okay on the node not on the pool so on the node server 2 has 3 right so let's go to my mm, this machine and generate some traffic right so my server 2 should get 3 i can see 2 2 2 right it, it is getting thrice but we will confirm this in the statistics exact number that it is getting right so i have to go to the pool http and statistics and i have to okay so pool is already there so server 2 should get almost the thrice so this should be 90k around yeah it's it's almost so you can see 100 and here 300 right so it is almost the uh, i mean three times the mm, traffic that other servers are getting so that was based on the mm, node level now let's do this on the on based on the uh, pool level so i have to go to the to my pools and i have to click on the pool and have to go to the members so in this case what i'll do is on server 3 here i can specify the ratio and update All right this is one step and the second step would be to go to the pool and uh, specify the load balancing method right uh, earlier we specified as uh, um, ratio node now we have to specify as ratio member right i'll go here i'll go to the members and here i have to specify ratio member okay so the dynamic ones are least connections right so whatever server we have that is having the least, least connection uh, will be preferred first okay Predictive is their least connection um, connections node on members and nodes again pool and this is the node fastest node observed node so these are the dynamic ones so let's finish this uh, based on the member and then in my next uh, I mean lessons I will show you the dynamic type so that's what we have done right so before we go to this I have to clear my statistics so I if I go here I need to clear my statistics here okay let's wait for the counters to be resetted now it's resetted let's go and generate some traffic so in my in this case uh, i have kept the server three uh, like thrice uh, three times the traffic that other servers get right so instead of server two now this will be server three now that is going to be enough i will just refresh this page to get the statistics so yeah yeah i can say it's three times because 172 170 it's almost thrice right for 44 is like yeah so this is thrice and uh so this is the uh, uh what do you say ratio based static load load balancing right so and you have another static uh, load balancing that is the round robin method right so 
yeah this is uh, it for this video guys and stay connected to with my with me in my next videos and don't forget to subscribe if you don't uh, haven't subscribed till now and uh, and please don't forget to i mean share like and comment in my videos what what do you want what do you like in my videos and what do you want in my videos right? so yeah that's it bye bye guys